What's up gamers? In today's Madden 22 video, we're going to be going over how to run the 335 defense and lock your opponent down. Get 3 to 4 turnovers a game and then you can mix in a full out blitz. That I will be breaking down on my Patreon. Drop a like, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. What's up everybody? If you want to take your Madden 22 game into the next level, the link in the description has my ebooks and every ebook that you get gets a free upgrade for 4 months. I repeat, free upgrades for 4 months. Let's get it. Now with this defense, this is more of a bend, don't break defense. On the defensive line, you want to have at least two unpredictables. My zone drops that I like to set out of the 335 linebacker cross is the play and I am in the multiple playbook. You can see right there I am manning somebody up and I like to drop a mid zone with one of my linebackers aka safeties and then I will have 25 yards over the top. So as you can see right there he throws it thinking that he can do the meta crossing route. That is what you're going to see. You're going to see a corner route or you're going to see a crossing route or you're going to see some kind of flat hitch combo. Those are the main routes that you have to look out for. As you can see, the mid zone KO is lighting up and knocking the ball down for another interception. This defense is super fun because you don't have to be aggressive. You don't have to have the whole box filled up you can just play a lot of coverage and still get a lot of turnovers as you can see my opponent has nowhere to go he's chucking it down the field another interception so let's look at this again i'm taking the running back and i send him to the mid read i always throw a mid read on the field sometimes i would double mabel i have my blues at 25 and my purples at five okay so sometimes i would put I will shade down, shade over the top that will put blues on the field, throw both of my linebackers, aka safeties, into blues, or I will mix it up and put that mid read on the field. That mid read is super important because he's going to hover across the middle and make your opponent take his eyes off a potential wide receiver threat right there. And then I always crash my line outside. Sometimes I do it two times to make sure that it register and then I QB contain. So you can see we got a four man pressure coming and that's going to help you get way more block sheds. It's good with only three men, but if you can do four man pressure out of this linebacker cross, it's going to help you get way better block sheds, especially if you have a better D line than me. So. I like to always put that mid read on the field. I got my blues at 20 to 25 yards. I have my purples at five if I do run them on the field. I hover and I guess pass. If it's first down, I don't guess pass. If it's second down or third down, or my opponent is showing me tendencies that he likes to throw the ball, I am guessing pass because any kind of A gap loop, any kind of contain, if you guess pass, they will not get manipulated and they will go after the quarterback. As you can see, my contain is working to the outside right there. He throws it down the field, double coverage on that side. If he throws it to the left, it would have been double coverage on that side. Linebacker cross three, nickel three, three, five, multiple defensive playbook. If you enjoy the breakdown, drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button for more Madden 22 tips and tricks so my opponent is showing me he want to do corner routes so you either got crossing routes you either got flat hitch combo or you got corner routes so i'm gonna make sure that i got that 25 yard flat you can see i got a five yard purple underneath it on the right side i'm gonna stay right here in the middle my mid read is gonna take all the deep developing routes or if they do a delay fade by the tight end he will be able to stay in the middle and come down and hit him for a two to three yard gain instead of a 15 to 20 yard broken play completion <laughs> 